this lesson I'm going to teach guitar players how to play the ukulele. Before I get started, I want to encourage you to press the red subscribe button. I've got lots of free lesson videos and I think you'll be interested in some of the other lessons that I teach. Now, I've been playing guitar for many years before I picked up the ukulele and I was delighted to find out that my skills on the guitar transferred to the ukulele and indeed some of the things on both instruments are the same. For instance, you'll recognize that as a D chord, right? You can play the same shape on a ukulele, only it's a G chord, and that's because they're tuned differently. A guitar is tuned E, A, D, G, B, E. Good way to remember that is Edie and Diane got bad eggs. <laughs> Not grammatically correct, but you know, it works. So on the ukulele, the tuning is G, C, A, E. So that means that when you're playing this shape, it's now a G chord. There are some other shapes that you may recognize. Does this look familiar? On the ukulele, it's a B flat. On the guitar, it's an F. How about this shape? Now, if you added two strings to the top, it would be the same as an A chord on the guitar. On the ukulele, it's a D. Here's another shape you may recognize. Again, if you added those two strings to the top, on the guitar, it's an A minor, and on the ukulele, it's a D minor. How cool is that? Another thing that transfers are strum patterns. So if you play down, down, up, down, down, up on the guitar, you can also play that on the ukulele. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Or if you wanted to play something in three-quarter time, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. If you want to know more about strumming, I've got a video about strumming that you can check out. Finger picking is also uh, something that is transferable. That changes a little bit though because you've only got four strings on the ukulele and you've got six strings on the guitar. So let me demonstrate one of my favorite picking patterns and I'll show you the difference. So I'm going to call out uh, the string numbers and just say bass on this top one. So it's bass three, two, one, bass three, two, one. It's a great picking pattern for anything in four, four. And I've got a lesson video about this one, if you want to check that out. Okay, so you can play that same pattern on the ukulele. Except, because you've only got four strings, you've got to keep that in mind. So I'm going to call out the string numbers counting from the bottom. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. There you go. Same thing. Now, uh, you've probably noticed that I don't use a pick when I play the ukulele. A lot of ukulele players do not, but if you choose to use a pick, please use a felt pick, and that'll give you a nice sound. It also protects the ukulele since ukuleles don't have uh, pick guards. All right. There you go. Get started playing the ukulele. Oh, one more thing I want to mention. Some of the chords on the ukulele are ridiculously easy. Look at this. One finger, C chord. One finger, A minor chord. One finger, A7 chord. And get this, you know how much trouble you have playing the F on a guitar? Look at this, here's the F on a ukulele. Voila. Does that make you happy? Good. All right, so again, be sure to subscribe. There's a red button in the corner. If there's a lesson that you'd like to see on my channel, post a suggestion in the comments below and I'll see if I can make it so. Just know that I have a long list of suggestions at this point. Um, 
What else? Oh, go to jamieanderson.com if you want to contact me for Skype lessons. There's an email form there that you can use. And uh, I'm a singer-songwriter with 11 albums. I'd love for you to look around and check out my music. Thanks a lot.